The line from today's carol is, and he feeleth for our sadness, and he shareth in our gladness, which is taken from the carol Once in Royal David's City. I don't know about you, but for me, Christmas Day almost feels like it's a freeze frame on time. For 24 hours, I somehow forget those things which were bothering me the day before, because everyone is happy, everyone is together, and in some small way, it all seems right with the world. And that freeze frame picture perfect image that we have is one which I suspect many of us long to bottle up and take into the new year with us and yet is one which we find slowly dissipating a few days after the festivities are over. When our worries return, when the things we were struggling with before Christmas reappear, it's easy for us to forget that baby lying in a manger. And it's even easier for us to forget who that baby would grow up to be. The part of the story which is so often unheard is the part where everything looks like it did before the birth. Where the manger is empty, the night sky is dark and silent, and the shepherds are once again on the hillside keeping watch over their flocks. Because the familiar story we tell is just the beginning of a much bigger and broader story, which for me is where the true power of the story lies. Since the baby lying in the manger, whom we have come to celebrate, is Emmanuel, God with us. And that is good news for us, because as the line of the carol we're reflecting on today intimates, God is with us in all of life, in our joys and in our sorrows. The power of the Christmas story is the story of Emmanuel of God who came to be with us, as one of us, so that we might know God with us every day of our lives.